from Los Angeles. This is Montserrat Radio. You're listening to Montserrat Radio. In the spirit of the war against fake news, Montserrat Radio presents The Fake News Show, conspiracy news and a different point of view of current events. And now your hosts, Benny Wilson and Thomas Christian. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Fake News Show. This is your host, Benny. I was going to do this show later tonight, but I decided to do it right now. And the reason is because um, I probably have another meeting later on tonight. Um, And I want to get over with this for today, because I know that if we have a great, great news, it will be tomorrow. Anyway, um... Tonight, tonight's show is called Are We in the Labs Chapter? And I'm basing this show based on the Iraqi Day News saying that, according to some experts, that they're looking for the last 48 hours so, so Iraq can actually come out and announce the Mosulis been delivered and the Basically, Mosul is, is free out of terrorism or ISIS and Daesh. We're looking for 48 hours before they announce the liberation of Mosul. So, are we in the last chapter? 
are we into the last chapter of this painful this painful wedding for this RV to happen well let's just analyze what's going on right now uh, notice that for those who are not in my Facebook page I have provided my people in Facebook three dates one of the first dates was today and nothing happened uh, the second date I don't know if I should say anything I'd rather not because I promise that I was not going to mention any intel because after many many meetings and many uh, discussions and a lot of thought I have decided not to provide any more breaking intel because with giving you information like the one that I gave you I mean breaking intel that I gave you for some reason for some wacko crazy reason um they're not following that agenda like they telling me. And now other gurus, and especially one guru in, in particular, which he doesn't like to be called a guru, is saying that uh, he noticed that every time that we come up with a prediction that something's going to happen, um, basically they come to the conclusion that the elite in Iraq use this information so they not pull in the RB. Now, what I have been saying all this time is that the elites don't care about you and me getting rich out of this event. That is the elite here in the United States, which is the same one that is actually controlling the one in Iraq. But in Iraq, they have their own problems and they have their own elite, too. And if we just pay attention how this government, it is so corrupted. If we just pay attention how this government does to Kurdistan. Yes, we can actually pinpoint and, and reassure that those people don't like us. To be right by predicting the RB. Why am I saying this? Well, just take a look at Kurdistan. When before the war happened, Kurdistan, Kurdistan was a very wealthy, economically wealthy region. The people after the war, the people, the, the, the government after the war. They start basically conspiring against that region itself because they had everything the Baghdad did not have. They were really happy with the union until they started, and when I say they, I mean the government of Iraq, they started messing around with their wealth by blocking it, by putting in obstacles and restrictions. So much now that now Kurdistan wants to separate from Iraq. I don't blame them. Why? Because those people in Iraq, the elite in Iraq, they don't like to see somebody else happy. They know that a lot of people are going to become really, really rich if they ever lift the value of their currency and they don't like it I mentioned before that, that the only obstacles we have right now is their government I was right now everybody is saying the same thing that I'm saying so the elite here in the United States they don't care about you and me getting rich, uh, getting rich because they know exactly that and I know that what I'm about to say, and a lot of people are not going to like it. 
but they know exactly that 90, 98% will go broke in three years. And it's definitely because they know the statistics. They follow the statistics. They follow that uh, 9 out of 10 people who win the lottery go broke. 9 out of 10. Or oh, what you can say is like 3 out of 5. So, I'm not making this up. And why is it that most of us are going to go broke? Well, because most of the people who are going to be rich, they don't stop the bad habit by spending and spending and spending. And not saving and not basically not saving and investing. They know that. So they don't care. But the elite in Iraq, they do care. They do care so much that they want it all for them. So they've been milking and milking their way by asking a lot of money, by asking a lot of loans when they are filthy rich. Now, we have spoke about this before, and we have even reported this before, about big list of all the government membership members vice president president minister basically everybody even the most corrupted one of all maliki who just walk around the street and nobody even touched the guy he has more than almost a million people behind him he can no longer uh, he can no longer hold a government position, yet he said it openly without no fear that he wants to become the minister of Iraq again. Even though their own constitution say he cannot. That's how corrupt that government is. That is why Japan said that they don't like to be they just really scared about giving money away to Iraq. So we know for a fact that these people know that there will be millions of people probably beneficiating for this RB. And they probably, we, some of us would probably go to Iraq and invest. Because Iraq will be very will be not only uh, or is the only filthy most rich country in the world but it will be almost or should I say the, per the perfect place to invest in many things so not everybody is echoing basically repeating what I'm been saying what I've been telling you all this time, now everybody's saying it. Now, I'm not being a psychic. I'm not being negative. I'm just being realistic. I analyze, analyze the situation in Iraq and how, why they've been doing it. So, my point is, are we in the last chapter? To tell you the truth, I don't think so. And I know many people will not like what I'm saying right now. And why I, I don't think that we are in the last chapter. I think we need a little bit more. You see, um, I know for a fact that nothing's going to happen in 48 hours. Okay? Let me just tell you that. And even if they actually announce, and I want you to understand this, even if they actually announce Mosul free, even if they even if they go to the Al Nuri uh, mosque and make it a big symbol that the caliphate has ended, because that's what they want to do. Even if they do that, I don't think we're going to have a raise of the value. I don't. 
I think there will be more excuses and more delays. I have come to the conclusion that they're not going to be so stupid to call it up. Nope. They're not going to be that stupid. Because if they will have any, and I mean it, if they have any, if they have any reason, any wish to actually pull this out and raise the currency of their country, they would have done it a long time ago. They don't want to raise the value. They're going to have somebody like Donald Trump come up to, to them and tell them, hey, get your ass up. I need the value up. Because Donald Trump has a lot of investments there. He does. He has a lot of interest in that situation, in that, in that country. I know for a fact. So when Donald Trump is going to show up in Iraq, some gurus are saying that probably he will show up in Iraq between the 20 and the 26. My people is telling me that he's going to show up on the 25th of May, one day before Ramadan. That's what my people been saying. Now, by the way, I told you that I'm not going to be uh, repeating or I'm not going to be saying Intel. This may sound like an Intel, but it is not because I was told this a long time ago. Even before now, they even come out with the dates. So, I believe we are almost close to the end of the chapter. We still need a little bit more turbulence, chaos, and panic. Because... They're going to need somebody with a lot of influential and press them to actually raise the value. And like I said it before, and I've been repeating it all the time, I'm going to remind you again what I've been saying all this time. That I have not disclosed this information to anybody. And I mean anybody. What I, I'm going to repeat it. Why I'm saying it. Because I've been telling you, everybody, that when we exchange, everybody will find out why they kept delaying the date. And everybody, and I mean everybody, will be pissed. Yes, we're all going to be pissed, including me, that I know why. That's how bad it is. Are we, are we in the final chapter? I think we need a little bit more. Would I be wrong? I really hope so. Because there's nothing I really wish that this thing to be over right now. But I think that we need a little bit more. Not because I wanted to. Because I know so. <laughs> Let's just remember that we were, we've been here before. Not once, not twice, but many times. Hundreds of times. And by the way, the big majority of the people who are waiting for this revaluation, I have known people that have been waiting for this revaluation since 2004. I know a lot of people that have been waiting since 2007. Myself, and I'm going to be honest, I've been, I know about this, this bull crap since 1990. And you will say, why? How come? Because when I met the guy from the elite, told me so. Months before every, anything happened. He told me the whole thing. When they were going to attack, after the attack, 
after the Gulf War, everything with luxury details. But I was not involved in any investment because I was too immature and too moron. I was too idiot. I only, I only care about having party. I was 25 and too immature when I met this guy. And now that I know the things that I know right now, am I sorry for not listening to him? Of course I am. I wouldn't be rich right now. I mean, very rich. But I did not care. I did not even listen to the guy. I thought that the guy was an idiot. That he was making all this stuff. And certainly he was 100% right. But that is one big mistake I have to learn from the rest of my life. Because I was not mature enough to listen. So since I've been going through the years, dealing with this information, receiving this information, providing information to others, getting attacked by morons left and right, almost every day, through the internet, through my own Facebook page. Since I've been going all this time, might as well let you know that even if I don't give you the information that you want from me, I will keep assuring you that we are very close. Not because I want you to hang up on me. Not because I want to give you false information. But because I really, really know that if I open my mouth and say it again, another breaking intel, I'm going to delay this shit. And I know I'm going to be the laughing stock of the whole internet because they will think, who in the hell is Benny? He's not famous enough. Why would he interrupt this process? Hey, I asked myself the same question. So I came to the conclusion to all the followers that are following my show. I would not say a thing until this thing actually come true. Because I'm tired of waiting. So right now, right now, right now, they are waiting for 48 hours because assumingly, according to Iraqi days, which, let me just tell you something. This guy is a very honest guy. The owner of the uh, news and outlet called Iraqi days in Twitter had a one-to-one conversation with John Nigo. And John Nico reported on Currency 365 saying, he told me that there is only rumors about last Saturday. Remember last Saturday when the body was supposed to be announced, the liberation of Mosul and nothing happened? And I told you before even he reported, I told you there's nothing was going to happen. Well, the guy confirmed what I just told you before. So the guy's been really, really honest. We all have different contacts. We all have different uh, different approaches. And when I say that I do not follow other gurus, I'm not saying because I, I'm, I'm pretending to be the only one that knows everything. No. Because I don't call myself that one who knows. No. I don't call myself the number one guru. No. I'm not the one number one guru. I'm not looking for recognition from anybody. I don't even look for the approval of anybody. Period. Because I don't even care about fame. Period. I just want this thing to be over. So. What. Are we next? Are we looking for a real liberation of Mosul? I really wish 
that that actually happened. If we have a liberation of Mosul by Wednesday, later Thursday, I really wish they can pull this thing up and give the revaluation of the currency. I really wish from the bottom of my heart. But according to my analysis, it is my humble opinion that nothing is going to happen. So I want you to understand that part, that part. I'm not being negative. I'm only telling you based on my contacts, based on my opinion, and my analysis, that nothing's going to happen in 48 hours. Are we close? Yeah, of course we are. But I believe that they are getting ready to surprise us. That's one thing. I believe they're getting ready to surprise us. And when that happened, nobody will believe that they actually raised their value. Nobody. It is going to be a shock to everybody. Why? Because I believe... About the prophecy. I'm not going to go through the prophecy. Because I'm not even going to do my testimony today. I'm supposed to do my testimony today. And I'm not going to do it. And the reason why I'm not going to do it. Was because. They came back to me. And you know who are they right. They came back to me. Today, and this what I'm about to tell you is going to shock you. I'm not going to tell you what they told me. I'm not going to discuss that conversation because this is a private conversation. And that will be considered a breaking intel. But I can share this with you. And I want you to analyze what I'm about to tell you because it's going to shock you. What they told me was, we understand what you went through, Benny. We understand that you want to share your experience with people. We just want to let you know that, hold that thought. And I'm repeating the same words that they told me. They go, hold that thought for the worst of the time. That's what they say. Right now is not the right time. Hold that thought. When it gets worse. When they told me that. I remember the prophecy. And. I wish I could have it right here. The prophecy in my computer. But I'm going to bring it up tomorrow for you. Based on what they told me. Because everybody will ask, why now? Just like the prophecy said. Why now? It means a lot of things. It means that all the hope were done. It means that everybody gave up on this investment. It means a lot of stuff. That is why I believe nothing's going to happen in 48 hours. And if I'm mistaken, good, beautiful. I'm mistaken. They assure me that we're very close. And that's it. All I, that's all I can share with you. And they provide me more information. And I'm not going to say anything. And this time they, are provi they provide me with a lot of information. But unfortunately since I gave my word. Not to share anything. Because I want them to actually do their own shit. Their own, their own work. And get over with this. I'm not going to say anything. Period. I don't care. I don't care if David, David Schmidt come out with the day that they are being. I don't care if anybody gets that. I don't care. 
All I care is that this thing is over right now. I'm not going to even mention the days that I that I say. I only mentioning one date or two. Sorry, I mentioned May first, and I mentioned May twenty fifth. I'm not going to mention the other date, and there's a reason why. So just stay put. Maybe by tomorrow I will give my testimony. Just maybe. It just depends if they call me back again. But things are looking very excited. Things are looking interesting. And for those people who are waiting for me to mention the family dragon, the elders, or the aliens in any of my Intel shows or my shows. Do me a favor and just look for your other gurus. I'm not gonna give you crap about that. I don't follow that. I don't care about that. I only care about my own contacts and my own information. For those who are looking for the funds to be released, don't ask me about that. I don't know nothing about any funds. For those who are looking for um, when the private groups will start changing. I used to be giving a little information about it. I now no longer want to give any information. Even if I knew, I would not even tell you anything. That's how bad it is. And now I know I am very conscious that after I announce this on my show, a lot of people will stop following me. I don't care. I don't care because I know this is about to blow. Like I said, I'm not looking for the approval of anybody and I'm looking to be the, the number one guru up there. I don't care about that. So, please... If you have more questions about, I don't know, Bitcoin, we can talk about it. Investments, we can talk about it. Yes, definitely. Don't ask me about the date of the RB because nobody knows, not even myself. Don't ask me about, hey, come on, man, just be too and me. Just give me a slick, a hint of what you know. I'm not going to tell you crap. Not this time. Not tomorrow. I probably will tell you when all this thing happened. And by then you probably wouldn't give a damn. Which, that's fine. So, are we very close? Again, yes. We are very close. As a matter of fact, we are in the door. Okay, right there in the door. Okay, that I can share with you. So now, have a great, great night. And I will follow you tomorrow with another edition of the Fake News Show. Thank you so much for your attention. God bless everybody. Thank you for listening to The Fake News Show with Benny. See you next time for more conspiracy news, current events, and intel from the most controversial show from Montserrat Radio.